Why, hello, my fellow fans of YouTube! Welcome to the finale of 14 Days of Fruits Basket! Oh my god, it's finally over with this final, final speed paint! And it's of the one that, the one couple that touched me the most in the entire freaking series. The love story of Kyoko and Katsuya Honda. Oh my god, these two. Oh my god, they are borderline perfect for each other. Like, when I first read the manga and I read their story, I bawled. Like, a lot of people will say the exact same thing when they see, when they read the manga for the first time and read their story. Oh my god, their their story is just too perfect. Oh my gosh. And like I'm going to quick explain what it what it basically is. That Kyoko was a part of a gang when she was younger and when she was in middle school and Katsuya, who was a student teacher at the time, they formed a very deep bond. And sooner or later, their bond made Kyoko want to be a better person for, for him. And she left the gang. She got the crap beaten out of her because, because the gang was like that. And, and her family disowned her. And as soon as she was disowned by her family, Katsuya was right there saying, you're kicking out the girl that I want to marry. Oh my gosh. And just the amount of raw emotion between these two characters is just too perfect. And oh my gosh, when when you find out that Kyoko is pre pregnant with Toru and just seeing her start to freak out saying Will this child be human? Will I be a good mother? What's what's gonna happen? I'm scared. I'm like around that time I would say she was like like maybe at the most probably like 16, 17? Maybe the latest being 18? And she's having a baby? I can only imagine what she would be going through. And like and Katsuya is the perfect guy for her. Just, he's so understanding and and knows how how Kyoko works. Just, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't stop gush, gushing about these two. Oh my gosh. And when he died, oh my gosh, like... Like, when you just see that chapter of her contemplating suicide just to be with him. Oh my goodness, like, the amount of emotion in that. Oh my gosh. It's even more, it makes me tear up every every time I read that because the fact that, like, unfortunately my dad is gone too. And I can only imagine, I can only imagine what my mom goes through on a daily basis because of the fact that my that my dad is gone and just I can only I can kind of imagine her my mom kind of being like Kyoko in a way just trying so hard to keep it together and just being there for me and my brothers and anyway let me get to the actual picture here. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But basically, what I thought for this picture is, like, when Kyoko died, you see her reuniting with Katsuya. And I just kind of had this image of that as soon as Kyoko dies, she sees Katsuya and then just has this moment of, Katsuya, you're here, and runs over to him, and they, and they embrace and share a kiss, and just be like, and 
I can definitely imagine them being like, we're sad that we're not with our daughter anymore, but we're so happy to finally be together. And I add a little curtain effect to make it seem like the doors are closing on them. And I think it it's perfect for me. And yeah, just... Well, thank you guys so much for putting up with me in for this month. Be sure to like this video and happy Valentine's Day!